Hi everyone, today I shall discuss some simple tips which you can recapitulate one day before the examination. Now in the upper limb, the most important bone is the humerus or the arm bones. Now in the arm bones, you have to know this is the head, neck, tubercle and this is the surgical neck of the humerus. Where a nerve is related and that nerve you will see during dissection, this is the axillary nerve. So if there is fracture in the surgical neck of the humerus, you will see this axillary nerve is involved. Next, you will see in the middle of the shaft, there is a groove behind this uh, delta tuberosity. This groove is known as the radial groove and in this radial groove is that is related to the bone and this radial groove contains the radial nerve. So if there is fracture in the mid shaft radial, radial nerve and arteria profunda brachii will be injured. Next you will see another nerve is related behind the medial epicondyle. This is the medial epicondyle which you can feel in your own hand the medial epicondyle and the nerve you will feel that is known as the ulnar nerve. It goes behind the medial epicondyle. Now, if there is fracture of the medial epicondyle, particularly in case of AJ, when fall in the outstretched hand, there is injury to the ulnar nerve. If there is the injury, there may be certain amount of paralysis, not total paralysis. So, this is you will remember one. Now you see this is the glenoid of the scapula and this is the head of the humerus. The both of them forms the shoulder joint which is very important to everybody. Now if there is in the shoulder joint you see it is protected by the muscles. The muscles are known as seats. How will you remember the supraspinator? A stands for supraspinators. I stands for infraspinatus and subscapular is the whole ventral surface and there is the teres minor. So this all the muscle it protects the shoulder joint. So this is you will remember by means of seats. Next thing I will tell you another nerve is not directly related with this bone but lies in front of it in the lower part and this nerve is actually the median nerve and there is another artery that is the brachial artery. You know you will palpate the pulse and pressure by palpating the brachial artery. So this is the median nerve when in case of young when there is fracture in this region which is known as the supracondylar fracture. So there may be injury to the median nerve and there may be the injury to the brachial artery and there is paralysis of this muscle. Now, how will you remember the nerve supply of the muscles? Now the muscles are arranged in the front of the arm, in the back of the arm, in the front of the forearm, in the back of the forearm and there is the muscle you will see that is in the palm, that is the hand. <coughs> Now in the front of the arm, the muscle is, that is you will get the biceps brachii. When you flex your uh, joint, elbow joint, you will feel an elevation. This is the biceps brachii. And there is brachialis below that. And another small muscle is the coraco brachialis. These all supplies by the musculocutaneous nerve. So front of the arm, the muscle supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve. In the back of the arm, in the back of the arm you will see if you extend your shoulder joint, there is prominence of a muscle which is known as the triceps. Triceps means three head. So all these uh, different heads are supplied by the radial nerve. Next in the front of the forearm. 
in the front of the forearm there are flexor muscles the flexor muscles of the forearm which all arises from the medial epicondyle and except the flexor carpi ulnaris all are supplied by the median nerve next the back of the forearm in the back of the forearm there is extensor muscles and in the extensor muscles all of the extensor muscles are supplied by the posterior interosseous nerve that is the branch of the radial nerve next is the hand you will see in the hand there are some swelling the swelling below the thumb is known as the thenar eminence the swelling below the little finger is known as the hypothenar eminence and here that is known as the central part now the thenar eminence is more prominent because we move the thumb and it is more powerful and the muscles here the five muscles that is the three thenar muscles and the first two lumbrical these five muscles are supplied by the median nerve and rest of the muscles that is about 14 muscles that is the hypothenar muscles the uh, lateral two lumbrical the all the interosseous dorsal and the palmar interosseous and the palmaris brevis all are supplied by the ulnar nerve so median nerve is known as the labral nerve because it is used by the laborer and this ulnar nerve is known as the musician nerve because it is the playing the music you will do this type of movement one thing you should know uh, the structure piercing the clavipectoral fascia the fascia is situated here you know superficial to the fascia there is introduction of this space maker so what are the structure uh, piercing this clavipectoral fascia these structures are the lateral pectoral nerve the cephalic vein and the clavicular branch of the acromiothoracic artery next thing you should know about the axillary sheath now what are the contents of the axillary sheath which is the content of the axilla axillary sheath contain only the axillary artery and the uh, course of brachial plexus axillary vein is not the content of the sheath this 